welcome back to my channel. Today I have a really exciting video. I'm going to be unwrapping, unveiling the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to be working with it, using it for the first time. I knew that I wanted to try it on camera, film with it. So I'll go ahead and jump into it in case you guys are wondering about the release, the date, the price. I will go ahead and do my best to list it somewhere here. And if not, I will have the information down below in the description box. Huda Beauty, sometimes they'll release products, I want to say, like one to two months after PR gets them. So I'm assuming maybe one month, maybe two. We shall see, hopefully soon. So I was a really big fan of her original palette. The first one, the Rose Gold palette. So I'm really excited for this one. I had a really good time with it. I know there was mixed reviews on that palette, but I really like mine. I even had mine like in the main palettes that I use. So I am excited to play with this. Let's take it out. Oh, so we get a little flyer here with beautiful Huda herself. I think she's gorgeous. And back here, we get kind of like a layout of the shades. I'll go ahead and just show you guys that real quick. If you guys want like more an in-depth video that's not so first impressions, maybe later down the road, a month from now, that has a swatches review, let me know. I'm not the greatest with swatches, but I could try. But I'm gonna do my best to use a lot of colors in here. It says here that there is matte shades, pressed pearls, Duo chrome toppers and one pure glitter. So let's open this up. This is so pretty. Oh my god. I love her adornment here. And her eyes look gorgeous. Her lenses and the makeup looks really, really beautiful. This is so pretty amazing job on the PR packaging the presentation I'm assuming that oh my god there's sand in here I find this so amusing oh I really like this oh my god okay so the presentation is super gorgeous I love this I really wish that companies would consider selling the PR packages because I think a lot of people would really want to buy them. We're all makeup obsessed, we're all makeup, makeup junkies. I know I would for sure buy something like this. So getting into the palette, I'm assuming this is how the palette is going to come. If you order it, it's going to come in this pretty purple packaging. I'll go ahead and show you guys real quick. If any of you guys are packaging freaks, I am. I'm a sucker for packaging. I bought the Machino Sephora collection just for packaging. Oh, this is nice. So the rose gold palette, this is transparent, which I like and I don't like. I like because you can see all the colors, but I don't like because you can see how messy the palette is. Like after you use it a few times, you can see all the shadows and everything. So even though it has a little slide thingy, I still think this is really pretty. I would say this is definitely an upgrade in my opinion. This is gorgeous. I never really use these little papers because I always find that they like cut my shadow but this is so pretty that I like it. I love her eyeshadow in this. Look at this. This one has mirror. The other palette did not have mirror. This one does. And here is the palette. A lot of these right here look almost cool tone which is very interesting these on this side are cool toned and then on the other side i would say they're a little bit more of um warmer tones i don't see any repeats other than angelic so here is the rose gold palette and here is my palette as you guys can see it's a little dirty and you guys see all the junk right here I'm gonna go ahead and see if there's any other repeats so that is the only one it is angelic other than that they're all different oh my god the color cosmo in here is so gorgeous i'm gonna go ahead and hold these side by side just so you guys could see and then i will get into the makeup application so the palette itself almost seems bigger but i i don't know if it is I don't know if you guys could see, but to me, it really does look like a completely 
different palette. Honestly, truly, in my opinion, these are not alike. Maybe a few colors, but for example, this one, you get the really um, shimmery, shimmery at the top. You get a gold, a copper, a burgundy, angelic, and that dark kind of brown, mauve gray tone metallic up there, Dubai. And then here, you kind of have a different layout. At the top, there's mattes. There's one shimmer. It's called Blood Moon right here. And then down here, you get three shimmers, another matte right here, two more shimmers. Down here, mattes, shimmery, complete glitter. And then these two are shimmers, actually. They're just not as glittery and chunky as the other one. So the layout is completely different and the colors, in my opinion, are pretty different. They're nothing really too similar. So I'm gonna just go ahead and jump right into it. I'm gonna prime my eyes with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And I actually had makeup on, I took it off. So my face is a little weird right now. I kind of have foundation left over, kind of don't. My eyebrows probably need a little retouching, but I just want to be safe and do my eyes first in case there is there is a lot of fallout. But I will say I never really experimented a lot of fallout with the rose gold powder, so I don't I'm not really expecting this one to have fallout, but we shall see. I'm going to go ahead and get the color Desert Sand, which is right here. And apply this all on my lid. And I'm using a Morphe brush for this. This is has no number. It's just part of the white and gold collection. So this color is like a bone color. But it almost has a peachy orangey tone in it. In person, I'm not sure how it's transferring on camera. Oh, I think you can kind of see it on the camera. That it has a nice little warm tone in there. And I'm really building it up. And I'm bringing it all the way underneath my brow. Now for my crease, I'm going to go in with... So let's go in with the color Musk, which is like a cool tone gray right here. So this color in person to me, it's translating kind of like a brown with the gray. So it's like a pretty cool brown color, almost I want to say like concrete. It's a little bit warmer. And I believe that's how it looks on camera. I'm going to... It's a little bit darker once I tapped in. A little bit darker. I'm gonna put this in my crease. Oh, that's not that cool. But it's not. And I'm building this color on. It's not like crazy pigmented, but it's not light either. I would say it's pretty average with the pigmentation. I think that is fine though, considering they're mattes and I don't really mind building my color up. I'm not really picky with eyeshadows to be honest, guys. So I went ahead and applied the color Musk in my crease. So far, so good. I like it. I like it. Let's move on. I'm going to grab the color Ode. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Ode this color right here and I'm going to apply this all on the outer edge of my eye and I'm using a Moda brush for these are so cute and affordable I believe they are in Walmart this is a Moda brush and it is their crease brush and I'm going to be tapped I tapped in there pretty good and I'm just going on the outer edge of my eye I think I need a little bit more oh this is nice this has like a hint I'm sure you guys could see it of red in there. And I'm bringing it up just a little bit. And I like to kind of wing out my shadow. To clean it up just a little bit, because I know it probably looks kind of messy, I'm going back in with desert sand. And then I'm going to go with the brush that I used for musk. Okay, and I'm going to add just a little bit more of this color. With this color, I find that I'm like, you kind of need to build it up. With all of these, you kind of have to build them up. 
don't mind that though. This is what I got going on so far. I have like an array of colors. I'm gonna do one of my favorite things to do that I do probably a little bit too much. I'm gonna cut my crease. I'm gonna do a half cut crease. This is seriously like my favorite thing to do. I probably do this more than I should. It just looks good and it's easy to do. So I'm gonna go in. I'm using a synthetic brush and my Tarte Shape Tape. And I'm gonna try and just kind of cut a little bit. And the way that I like to do this, um, it's kind of just mapping out by seeing where I'm going and pretending like I'm seeing shadow there, if that makes sense. Because it might look a little bit awkward just with the concealer. And I'm using to be specific a morphe e19 i use that to cut the crease so now i'm going to go in with a little eyeshadow brush this is a random little unicorn brush that i bought from ebay i honestly think a matte would look really nice like an all matte eye but i do want to use different colors in this so i'm gonna oh wow so cosmo is legit like a glitter i just like swatched it should i use that i'll use that i'm gonna go ahead and apply neferity First on my lid, and then I'm gonna go in with Cosmo. Let's see. Neferity is this really light, pretty cold. And if you guys are curious about kickback or anything, there's quite a little bit of kickback. These are the shadows I have been using. Oh, ooh. Damn, I like this. Oh, I gotta say that I really like this shimmer a lot. I really like Huda shimmers. They're like some of my favorites. And I'm using a brush. I'm pretty sure if I was to use my finger, it would be even more popping. Or if I was to simply use it wet. I like it. Now I'm gonna go on top and I'm actually gonna use a synthetic brush. And I'm gonna wet it. Where's my water bottle? Okay, so I'm gonna be using some of my precious Morphe spray. I wet the brush and I'm gonna go in and get Cosmo, which is the glitter. Oh, this is a straight up pressed glitter, so you just gotta tap. I digged in, be careful with that if you do end up getting this palette. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go in the inner, like the middle. So this is a legit glitter. You guys know, I don't know if you guys saw the Too Faced glitter palette. Those are like extreme shimmers, sort of like a glitter. I really like that formula, by the way. This is like a straight up glitter. I like the idea that she just put one in here. Like she gave you, she gave you that option. Even one, two, max three, I would really like. I don't think I would have a full palette full of glitters, just because that seems like a little bit tedious, maybe. I don't know. But I like this idea because I feel like this is very usable, if that makes sense. And I'm going to go back in with Neferity and get some of what was left over on the Morphe spray. So I wet it a bit and I'm going in. So I am experiencing a little bit of fallout with the press on glitter. Be aware. I think that the press on glitter would do really good with glitter glue. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Oh, I grabbed a lot, but I like it. what I got going on so far kind of want to amplify because I'm trying to use a lot of colors in here I usually would leave it like this I like the way it looks but I kind of want to cut the crease just so I could use one of the dark colors in here by the way there's really no super dark color in here other than oud and this is it has a kind of reddish tint I'm gonna get blazing which is this orange here I just I'm gonna tap a little bit and I'm gonna go in my crease like right here real quick I wanted it to be a little bit more orangey, so I added the blazing color kind of softly, and I really do like it. All right, so now I'm going to go in with a smaller brush, and I'm going to go in with the color saffron, which is like a dark reddish right here. And I'm going to be cutting the crease just a little bit. Okay, so I kind of sort of took my time. We're trying to map out the crease and I do like the way it looks. I'm gonna go in with a really little brush. This is another Morphe brush. It's just a really small detail brush. And I'm gonna get the color Blazing, which is an orange. And I'm just gonna go right along the edges of where I cut my crease, just so that it has some type of like gradient ombre to it. 
and it's not just that color itself okay and for it to look even more cut oh i'm going to go back in with neferiti i don't know if my brush fell or something i don't know but i'm going to be applying neferiti wet oh the sun's coming down sorry if lighting is weird guys anyways i'm almost done with the eye look The glitter did fade a little bit on this eye more than I wanted to, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and add it back in. All right, to save a little bit of time, a little bit of light, I'm gonna go ahead do my face makeup real quick, and then I will be back to finish the eyes. And in case you're wondering, sorry for the terrible lighting, all of the face details listed down below in the description box. All right, so I quickly did my eyelashes and I did my face makeup. I haven't not turned on the ring light just because I kind of want to keep it like as natural light as possible. Oh, am I being washed out? I don't think so i think it's just that i have not set my makeup and i look really powdery i'm gonna go ahead and finish up the eyes since that is the focal point please ignore my makeup my face makeup looks weird i was very quick y'all so i'm gonna go ahead and go in with the color amber which is this color right here and i'm gonna blur this and by the way i put neferity in my inner corner so with this color amber i'm gonna blow out oh that's pretty this color is really pigmented out of a lot of the mattes i think this one has given me the most pigmentation i barely did have had to do anything and i'm gonna apply the color saffron which is like that reddish color right here more on the outer edge right even underneath the eyeliner my eyelash still has glue left over guys so i'm sorry and to just kind of diffuse it i'm gonna go in with a clean brush and I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara on, whoa, that was a lot, on my bottom lashes. And try and lift these because these are being a little weird with me. Alright, for my lips, since I'm doing a lot of Huda, I decided to use one of her lip colors. This is Beach Babe, and I'm going to be lining my lips with Gerard Cosmetics. I had a... Victoria's Secret gloss in case you guys are wondering all right so I think I finally got my lighting correct and I am all done with my makeup I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit close so that you guys could see the eyes mainly the eyeshadow because my eyeliner and my lashes got just a little messy but this is the completed eye look in general i really liked this palette i really enjoyed it i actually feel like i'm gonna fall in love with it i feel like i'm gonna use it a lot knock on wood i don't want to jinx myself but i ended up using the rose gold way more than i expected i feel like i feel like i have a lot of makeup i do have a lot of makeup so for this to be pretty used up and you can see that I've definitely digged into these colors I feel like I use this one just a lot. I know I haven't really hit pan on any But for me, this is pretty used up and I feel like this is going to become quickly like that I think I'm going to be using it a lot. You guys might see it a lot on this channel Please let me know if you guys would like to see more looks with it I really want to try some of the purples Twilight retrograde even do other schemes of colors in here and do other looks so if you guys would like to see that Please let me know Nonetheless, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this makeup look and that you guys liked it that you guys have found this video helpful I'll go ahead and again list all of the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette information in my description box in case you guys are wondering I feel like I might get asked my sweater my sweater my shirt is actually a dress it's a little like midi dress it's from fashion nova fashionnova.com i'll go ahead and find the link since it's just one item i don't think i'll have trouble finding what it is and i will link it below the gloss i was using in the beginning of my video was victoria's secret just the glosses they sell i'll go ahead and list all the information for all my face products even though my face products look a little whack down below in the description box 
Nonetheless, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. It would help me out so much. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!